out to avoid a fourth consecutive 0 0 draw in their final home game of the season. Toulouse welcomed Auxerre to the southwest. Perhaps it was far more important for their visitors. One of those goalless draws last time out left TFC comfortable enough 13th, three points above 14th, and three below 12th. It was a 2 1 loss to PSG and left Auxerre one point above Nantes on the brink of the drop zone. That's not to say things had all been rosy for Le Violet. There's four first team players in Branko van den Boomen, Breck de Jaguer, Stein Spirings and Maxime Dupe all confirmed to be heading for the exit door during the summer. Nonetheless, all four included in this first team. The last on that list, Dupe, with a nervy moment early on. Goti Ein sent a well struck shot whistling past his dive. Fortunately for the keeper, also past his post. Down the other end. The ball wouldn't whistle past the post, but strike it. Zakaria Abuklal's cross headed onto the upright by Tais Delinga. Perhaps with a helping hand from Unit Radu. Whether or not he got a touch to that effort, he could do nothing about the next one of note. An initial shot blocked, but Ryan Revelison first to the ball. The Malagasy permitted space just outside the box and making the most of it. Beautifully curled into the corner. A huge goal potentially for Ozer. Revelison is one of only three players this season who scored more than one goal without any of them coming from inside the box. His other goal, a free kick against Lorient. This isn't basketball though, and they don't count for any more outside the box as demonstrated soon after at the other end as Rafael Retel picked out Abu Klal on the six yard line. Morocco International putting aside the recent chatter to focus on football matters and find the equaliser just before the break. That his ninth league goal this season, becoming the Moroccan player with the most goals in Europe's top five leagues. That saw the sides go in level at half time and after a word of appreciation for the departing players from the Toulouse fans. Their players responded in the second half. Final round of applause at Stadium TFC for De Jaguer. Dupé then with a solid save from a long-range Jubal effort after Toulouse failed to clear a corner. Defender again trying his luck from range. And then a Van den Boomen corner almost resulted in a winner for the home side. Flicked on to Adu Onawu at the back post. Japanese number seven shimmied and then lifted a shot onto the bar. Not quite a third of the season. Ajia had the opportunity to close in on survival with Nantes losing, but they struggled to apply any pressure to their opponents. One final world effort, and that would be that. Point further ahead of Nantes and before kickoff. Auxerre will have to beat Lens in their final game to be sure of their survival.